It's discerning between the two truths that you hold and when to put one truth on and when to put the other one to bed for a while. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. And it's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit an inspiration. And prior to recording this, I just got off of a podcast recording with Evans, who is my co-host during the Questionably Awesome series, which is hosted right here on Earn Your Happy. So if you haven't listened to that yet, go look for our Q&A series. That's actually what it is. It's question and answer, but we've decided to change the name to Questionably Awesome because you may question if it's awesome. And I will tell you that your answer should be yes, because it's really, really hilarious. Hopefully, if you have the same humor as us. So either way, we try to add as much value as possible answering your questions. And we also do a review of the week shout out where we send whoever's review we choose, either a mug or a t-shirt or something awesome uh, with the Earn Your Happy or a Tribe Called Bliss logo on it. So you guys go over there and review the podcast because we're going to send you something awesome and we're going to shout you out online with your handle. And that's also the episode where we shout you out Uh, from Instagram with your handle as well with your questions and we answer all of your questions. So submit a question on Instagram or you can also put a review in, which actually means the most to me, you guys. I'm really, really focusing hard on this podcast and it would mean the world to me if you would go and leave a five-star review and also share this with your friends and ask them to subscribe. That's just my big ask for the year. Do I just get one? Okay. Well, that's one. All right. So today, um, and uh, the reason that I bring that up is because today I want to talk to you about paradoxes. And I had found a quote because we also share quotes on there that we're obsessed with at the moment. And I found a quote about a paradox that I absolutely love. And as I was searching, I found another one that I'm going to share with you today. And this is Dennis Villeneuve, I believe that's how you say his name. And he says, in contradiction and paradox, you can find truth. All right. So what does this mean? So this is going to mean a million different things to a million different people because life is a paradox and everyone is going to find different meanings in different things. And to me, what this means in contradiction and paradox, you can find truth. I think it should say in contradiction and paradox, you can find your truth. And it is whatever that means to you within that contradiction and paradox. So a paradox is when you hold two opposing views at once. So it's two opposing truths at once. So a paradox is like holding two opposing truths at once as your truth, like both are your truth. So um, if you're talking in basic terms, this would be, um, I love the example of like jumbo shrimp. (laughs) because shrimp technically means small, but shrimp is also an animal, but there are jumbo shrimp. So the biggest of the shrimp holds the view, right? I don't know. Take it or leave it, guys. I'm just trying to help out here. All right. So through contradictions, the reason that this is such a big deal to me is because I believe that through contradicting yourself and holding two different truths and holding paradoxes and understanding that they do exist, I believe that you find your truth and you free yourself. So through contradiction, you can free yourself. 
I want you to really listen to that and feel it deep in your soul. And I want to tell you about the the different times or the different ways and the different contradictions that I hold within myself. And you guys, I write about this in my book, A Tribe Called Bliss, because I had some moments in my life where I um, was reading a Danielle uh, Laporte book, and I think it was her White Hot Truth book. And she talked about a lot of different paradoxes that she held in her life. And reading her paradoxes set me free because I found mine as well. So what I want you guys to do is after this, and I'll bring it up again, but write down a contradiction that if you could hold the two truths, you could free yourself, right? Because what happens is I grew up in a very... um religious background. And, you know, whatever this means to you, take it or leave it. For me, things were very black and white. And because I do believe life is a contradiction and a paradox, I believe that I was constantly struggling with myself because it was black or white. Two could not be true. The black could not be right. The white could not be right. It was like, it was very definitive. It was very definitive. It was like, it's either black or white. Like you don't get to say both, right? Both can't hold equal truths. And to me, I believe they can depending on your perspective, depending on your background, depending on your view, depending on where you come from, depending on what your experience is. So for me, some of them were, or some of them are. Are you ready for this? So take these or leave these however they hit. For me, one of my massive uh, paradoxes and contradictions is I can love God, but not be religious. So I can be spiritual. I can um, do what, take this as whatever it means to you. Um, I can be, um, you know, I can believe in all of the things that I believe in, um, but I don't have to do it in the form of a certain religion necessarily. So this was super freeing for me because in order to find my truth, I first had to find what that truth was. Now, does this mean at some point, if I find something that fits and feels like what my truth is and feels like it brings it out, that I wouldn't go and do that? Absolutely not. So if I, if I start with another uh, basically black and white truth or a black and white idea of saying, okay, well, I'm not religious. If I decide that I wanted to join something that felt like my new truth from not holding this old truth, then I'm also putting myself in a box again. So I wanted to use that one to show you guys that in order for me to free myself, I hold, I have to hold this contradiction first to truly find what truly feels right for me so that I can love God, divine, spirit, source, whatever that means, and not be religious, that I could be spiritual. But this opens me up now to find an even deeper truth for myself. So that's my first one. All right. So my second one is I can be... And this is one that is just like super basic, but it's something that has completely freed me. And I had to learn how to believe this. And I could only learn how to believe it by doing it. (laughs) So that was even crazier. So it is, I can be fit and feel amazing and still drink champagne and eat whatever I want every week. What? Is that even possible? All right. So I didn't believe this because I thought it was either black or white. Like you can't do that. You can't eat whatever you want. But I first had to eat whatever I wanted, right? Whatever I wanted. And that meant like letting go of the old belief that eating whatever I wanted would not keep me fit or that I would put on all this weight or that I wouldn't feel good or that I'd go back to my old ways or I wouldn't feel like myself. But what happened is once I went through the journey of already having been uh, fit, already kind of understanding what makes me feel good, already understanding that I'm going to eat to nurture myself, I'm going to eat to feel good. What happened is when I started to free myself over for years and years of saying you can eat whatever you want, but just know you want to eat to feel good and you want to eat for energy. I 
ate whatever I wanted, but it wasn't much because I wouldn't want a lot of it because I wanted to eat to feel good. So I hope that's making sense, but I had to practice this for years and years and years. And I had to hold the opposite truths that I could still be fit, that I could be fit, super fit, right? I wanted to be super fit and that I could drink champagne and eat whatever I wanted weekly. And what happened when I held those two truths was that I wanted to be fit and I wanted to feel good. So what happened is I would not do it as much, but I also felt free to do it because I had to give myself the freedom to do it. Okay, let's try another one. So I can be spiritual and swear. (laughs) So I had a problem with this one because I tend to swear a little bit more off air. I'm just being real. And I truly believe that I use it right now as a way to express passion. And um, it's just kind of in my vocabulary and in my world and it feels really good. And sometimes it doesn't feel good. So I use it when I feel I want to use it. So be spiritual and swear. And that one might like not resonate with some of you, but for me, it totally resonates. Um, And this was something that was really freeing for me. So hope it is freeing for you as well. Um, let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. So I can be, I can teach serious things and self-development and I can do it through being funny. So I can teach serious things, self-development, life lessons, and I can do it through being funny. So these were, this is a, um, a paradox for me that I hold where I used to think that I had to be really serious to teach serious life lessons. And that just wasn't me. It didn't feel right. It didn't feel good because it wasn't me. So how are you supposed to teach um, something that means a lot to you uh, without being yourself? So I believe that you can infuse yourself into anything serious or not. And don't get me wrong. There are definitely times when certain topics are much more serious than others. And as I'm saying this, you guys, please use discernment. Understand that I'm not saying... And this this whole thing, this is even funnier that I'm even giving this disclaimer right now because it's about paradoxes and equal truths. Like There are times to be serious and there are times to not be serious. So I hope that you understand there's some discernment there. Okay, here's another one. This is just a basic one, but I still love it. So you can, I can be a leader and be a student at the same time. Basically, like I can be a teacher and I can get a lot of things wrong at the same time. So I'm publicly failing a lot, but I'm also out there as a leader in teaching and I'm letting those two truths live together. And that is so much freaking freedom. Oh, My God, I hope it's freedom for you too. I don't know what um, weird, I don't don't know what this rhythm in my voice is right now. Anyway, okay. So what paradox, what contradiction are you holding or could you hold right now that could totally free you? So I want you to think of some, I want you to write them down. Um, I'd love to hear about them in your stories. I'd love for you to tell me about them. And I'd love for you to share this podcast with someone who's fighting with something because um, I don't believe in the black and white. I really don't. I believe that it depends on your uh, your perception, where you came from, um, what your background is. And I believe that if it feels free to you, it's your truth. So how can you contradict your way to your truth and hold those two truths at the same time and know when you need to be in one and when you need to be in the other? So it's discerning between the two that you hold. It's discerning between the two truths that you hold and when to put one truth on and when to put the other one to bed for a while. So it's just the discernment between the two. So you guys, I hope that this helped you. And if you know somebody who is struggling or who could use this as well, I would love if you would just text this episode right now and share it with them or upload this to your stories and share what your takeaways were because truly that is such a gift, um, not only to me, but hopefully 
mentally to that person who's in need. So you guys, until next time, I am so grateful for you. I swear, like beyond anything you can possibly imagine because you give me, you guys are all such a mirror for me and we are all the same. I get so much information downloaded from all of you because your experience is my experience too. And we are all in this together. So until next time, earn your happy. Bye everyone. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought and honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday, I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody gonna be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so. 
Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14 day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's gonna streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. Hey all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it.